you have been living, some of you, for the past 30 to 40 to 50 years as squatters, where you had no legal rights over the lands that you lived on, which basically meant that the houses that you had held were illegally built, which meant that even if you build those homes, you weren't able to access finance. We weren't able to get insurance. Today, after you get those leases, we're actually handing over to you an asset. The title means you get a 99-year lease, like a lot of the properties in Fiji. It means you take the title, you can go to a bank, the bank can use that land as collateral, as a mortgage, for you to borrow money to build a nice home. That's what it basically means. A lot of people who live as squatters in Fiji put up shacks, they get used to living like that, they don't build a proper concrete home. And the reason why they don't build a proper concrete home is because they know that they are illegally there. A lot of people who live there on a year-to-year -year basis. What this does to you, ladies and gentlemen, all of you who will receive leases today, the 63 leases that will be issued, you will suddenly be giving you actually probably, I don't know the value of the block of each land, but at least, at the very least, it would be in excess of ten to $15,000. That's what we are putting in your pockets today. That would be the value of the land, at least in this area. What that means, ladies and gentlemen, as I said, we are suddenly given an asset. It means now you own that asset. Nobody can take it away from you. It's yours. You can build your house, and that house will be there for you, be there for your children, and hope for your children's children too. This is a crown lease that's been issued to you. And what it also means, the reason why we have the CEO of Tower Insurance here, the banks were supposed to be here, but there was some confusion. The Ministry of Lands will actually arrange it for you. The banks will also come over. We want to be able to give to you an attractive interest rate so you can build your first home, a proper first home, a concrete home. And when you build that home, you should also insure it. The next time you have a fire, you have a cyclone, it's insured. Not only the house will be insured, but the things inside the house can also be insured. Very few homes in Fiji have insurance, precisely for this reason. So the CEO of Tower Insurance, together with other members of the insurance uh, council, the other insurance companies, together with the banks, will arrange for you, at least in the next one week, we can offer you some type of package that if you go ahead now with the lease, if you want to go and borrow some money, what rate, interest rate you'll get, and what sort of insurance uh, um, premium you'll pay to be able to get the entire package. Please use this. This asset is, is given to you, and you must use it wisely. It must be, you must use it wisely. I know some people, actually, when they don't have an asset, they go out, when they need money, they go to a money lender. The money lenders lend at 20%, 25%, 30%, 40%. That's what happens. You no longer have to go to a money lender. You can go to the bank and use the land as collateral. So this is very, very empowering for you. Today we are giving you an asset. As I said, there are certain terms and conditions that are attached to the lease. You have to adhere to the lease. If you want to uh, you know, start doing additional things on the land, you have to get the consent of the Ministry of Lands. But if you're building your own home, that's fine. So it's a very, very joyous occasion, I would assume, for all of you. Uh, we are actually quite happy to do this. There are literally hundreds of people in Fiji where the Minister for Lands, as he mentioned, the last couple of weeks he's been issuing them leases, 99-year leases. There are now people getting agricultural leases for 99 years. And I think it's important for you to know this. Never before in the history of Fiji have people received 99-year leases for agricultural purposes. Those of you who may come from farming backgrounds, you know under the ELTA, people used to get only 30-year leases. That's why you see most people who farm the farms, they don't have mechanized farming. They don't have large tractors, etc. Because they cannot use the lease as collateral. You say in Hindi, Girvi nahi sake long. Yeah? So now they can do that. Now people can have mechanized farming. So what this does for you, when you go out and build your own home, when you put up a nice concrete home, it also creates employment. Because when you build a home, you need a builder. You need a bricklayer, you need a tile layer, you need a plumber, you need an electrician. 
You need somebody to dig the foundation. So it churns the economy. When they churns the economy, it creates jobs. Because somebody will get a job to do all those things. And then money is invested. Today you have this Roops Big Bear, this complex that's built here. Who would have thought only five years ago that something like this would happen in Nakasi? All of these changes are taking place. People from Suva are actually moving across to this side. Why? Because there's shortage of land. The population is growing. More people want to have their own homes. What does that mean for you? Those of you who've got the leases today, suddenly the value of your land has gone up. When there are more people want to build homes, they want more land. Your value of, the la of your land will go up too. And don't sell it in a hurry too. I know some of you may be tempted. Somebody will come along and say, I'll give you, you know, $30,000. Please don't do that. Don't sell the land, make the money and go and be a squatter somewhere else. Don't do that. Because you're actually thinking only short term. Some people have done that. Some people have done that. But what they have done, they've shortchanged their children. They've shortchanged their children. They've shortchanged themselves. Today, your children, these wonderful kids who are singing the anthem, they don't pay for school fees. They don't have to pay school bus fares when they go to buy, catch the bus. They get free textbooks. All of these things did not happen before. That puts less pressure on you. There are so many children, there are so many families I have met, sorry I must say, that who said, we wish we had it in our time, at least I would have educated all my children. Because normally the girls had to stay home. If there are five brothers and two girls, the parents decide the brothers would go to school and the girls would stay home because they'll get married in any case. Today everybody can go to school. It puts less pressure on you. So now when government is doing all of this, we're giving subsidized electricity, subsidized water. If you earn less than $30,000 a year, we pay for 50% of your electricity costs. I hope you have applied. Please apply. That costs 34 cents a unit. We pay 17 cents for you. So all of these assistance is being given to you. The reason why we are doing that is so those people who are living in squatters, those people who are low-income families, are able to build a good life for themselves. You have an asset base which you can use. When you have an asset base, you can go out to the banks, you can buy a nice fridge and all of that. People will use that as a collateral. So ladies and gentlemen, today 63 leases are being issued. There's another, I understand, uh, in excess of about 20 more leases. Uh, they'll be issued to complete everybody who's in the Omkar area. And uh, we are quite glad to do this. Uh, my apologies for the delay. We are quite busy uh, in the office. But thank you for waiting. I'd like to also thank the, the chairperson of the Insurance Council. She made an effort at the last minute to be here. Uh, but please, uh, as we said, this is an asset that you are being given. Make good use of it. Build your proper home. Get the insurance for it because it will help you in the long run. And we're quite happy that the Insurance Council is working with us. We're also looking at new ways as to how we can get cover for you during the uh, cyclone periods. All of these things are very, very important. And as a community, please work together. Look after your area. Very basic things like, please don't rubbish the area. Keep the place tidy. If all of you do that, then the value of your property will go up. If you keep your environment dirty, if you throw the rubbish, if you don't look after your area, your properties, the value of your land will go down. The better you look after it, the more value you'll get. The more value you'll get, even if you stay there, you'll be able to borrow more, more money. So that's, that's the situation today, ladies and gentlemen. So I'd like to thank once again the Minister for Lands. He's brought about an increased level of energy to the Ministry of Lands. Never before have we had in such a short period of time so many leases being regularized, so many people who have been living in squatters being regularized. And he's doing that again uh, on Saturday. He's going out to various other places around Fiji to give those leases. Let's all work together. Let's all be patriotic together. I think it will be amiss of me not to say one thing. As you know that we've, our Honorable Prime Minister is away as Fiji is the presidency of COP23. Very basic things that you can do yourself. Please don't rubbish the place. So many times I have, it's a very simple message I have for you. So many times I've seen adults, children, eat a packet of twisties or packet of bean and peanut. As soon as they finish it, they just don't think about it and just drop it on the ground. It does not cost you one cent to keep it in your pocket and go home and put it in the rubbish bin. It does not cost you any money. 
It's a very basic thing like that. That's being patriotic about your country. If you're able to do such a basic thing like that, you know that you care about your country, you care about your environment, you care about where you live. That would be my simple message to you. I'd like to also thank the Permanent Secretary for uh, Housing and Local Government and his team, and of course the PS for Lands is also here with us, um, who have worked together to ensure that you get the leases today. Of course, your municipality is here. They need to look after you too. Make sure they come and collect the rubbish. Make sure you pay your rates. Now, as you know, that this area has a big problem with uh, people throwing rubbish. If we're all able to work together, we'll have a much environment to live in. So thank you very much, and I wish you all a very, very uh, good evening. Naka, thank you.